Hello friends, welcome back to my channel XGN and Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'll be focusing on codon optimization. So, what is codon optimization? Uh, in details information, I'll I'll give you by this discussion. So stay tuned and watch this video till end. So uh, the codon optimization, what is the codon optimization? Codon optimization is the, is the technique to maximize the protein expression in living organisms by increasing the trans uh, translation efficiency of gene of interest by transforming DNA sequence of nucleotide of one species into DNA sequence of nucleotide of another species. So, so this is the very big definition actually. So if you uh, if you look some key point, if you focus some key point of this definition, that is the translational efficiency. So it means precisely if you if you think about it, so this is nothing else, this is just the precisely protein expression. So by doing the codon optimization, you can increase, you can, the level of the protein expression. So basically, we do uh, different kind of systems like E. coli system or human system or different kind of system for expression of the protein. So if you don't uh, optimize the codon according to your expression system, then, then you won't get the higher expression of the protein. So that yield will be very low in that case. So here, um, before explanation, if you, you have to have this, this basic idea. So how the transcription going on and how the translation is going on, everything about it. So just in brief, I will, I will say something. The transcription first. So transcription actually it is in the DNA. So in the nucleus, uh, there is a DNA. So in DNA, there is a transcription and everything, this kind of machinery is there. So after that, that when the mRNA is developed from there, and then mRNA goes to the ribosome. So when the, when the mRNA is transferred to the, tra to the ribosome, and there is the translation machinery. So it means like from the mRNA to the protein, it will, it will form in the ribosome. So there is that um, protein formation machinery is there. So that is in basically that is the translation. And here is the codon optimization. So if you if you won't optimize uh, the the codon according to the expression system, then in this case in the translation will be very low in that case, right? And uh, so. Basically, here is another thing like DNA sequence of nucleotide of one species into DNA sequence of the nucleotide of the another species. So, if you have, for example, if you have any uh, any codon or if you have the human system, this kind of gene, and if you would like to express this protein in the E. coli system, then if you use the same human system for the E. coli, then your yield will be very very low okay so if you have to have if you do the same process in the e coli so you'll get very low yield but for that system for the e coli system you have to have the codon optimized according to the e coli system why so i will explain that so basically the dna sequence of the nucleotide that is at the codon uses bias so for that you have to know that what is codon uses bias. So codon uses bias is refers to the the specific codons that are used more often than other synonymous codon during translation of genes. Okay, so let's go. Let's move on to the next slide. Here is the codon uses bias. Codon uses bias. Here is the you see here. The specific codons in one system that is that uh, that is the more open than other synonymous codon. So, for example, I just um, here I just exemplified some two system, the human and E. coli system. So here you see this is the nothing else. This is the codon and the the expression of that amino acid and the percentage. So here you see the in the human system the phenylalanine it coded by triple T. 
and as well as also the phenylalanine also coded by TTC right so these both cases in this both codon it encodes the amino acid phenylalanine but you see the percentage difference is is varies in case of the T triple T the percentage of this phenylalanine is 0.46 but in case of the TTC that is the higher percentage of the, the phenylalanine and in same case the TTC if you check in the E. coli system the TTC is very low is 0.42 whereas the TTT triple T here is very high 0.58 so if you see here the triple T is very high here but triple T is very low here so the same system in the phenylalanine if you use the triple T here in the E. coli system uh, like uh, in the in the in this TTC if you use in the E. coli system then you will get very low yield so for that for that reason you have to optimize this E. coli system right so this is the codon optimization like if you have this human system and um, for example this is the human system and then you have to change it you know use according your organism for expression system then you have to change accordingly your codon so that is the codon bias and this is how it works so there are there are many systems that how can you check it and also another thing I, I would like to show you that that you see very this is very clear idea will get if you check it so here you see the in case of the wild type this is not the codon optimization this is not codon optimization done, done in this case so in this case wild type this is very low expression of the protein but when the in the same system the codon optimized then you see the expression of the protein is very high so obviously you have to have the when you when you use any system you have to have the codon optimized system then I, s I hope this un you understand this part very well and I will show you that how do you get these kind of tables so there are many ways you can get this kind of tables that that is the codon uses bias you will get it in the snap gene if in the snap gene you will have to hit this tools button and then under this option you will get the genetic uh, sorry codon uses tables and here you see the codon uses tables this is you can check from here and uh, you have to select the your specific organisms so if you check organisms then accordingly it's showing the codon uses tables so by this way you'll get it and another way also you'll get it from gene script so in the gene script also in the gene script um, you see here in the gene script dot com and here you will get this kind of codon uses table if you won't have any your snap gene and if you are not familiar with the snap gene then you can you can go through in the gene script in gene script you have to type here you have to type the gene script codon uses here if you type if you type this gene script codon uses frequency table and then you can type here and then you will get the same page Right. this is the uh, uh, table yeah so this table you will get by the way and here the amino acid and here also the system of uh, the your desired organism you can change from here so accordingly it, it, it will show here so now I will I will show you that how to check the how do how do optimize your codon optimization if you have the entire system then how do you check how do um, co codon optimize accordingly so for that also you have to you have to type here the codon optimization tool this one genes gene smart codon optimization right and here try it now 
repeat this one and then you will find something and some credential you have to fill this form gene name so for example i just want to write fipev original sequence you have to you have to paste here uh, for example i would like to paste from here some some part i want i'd like to copy from here okay, i'll let it is okay so i'll copy from here and i'll paste here all right and then choose the expression system here so let's choose the e coli e coli and optimize so when it will be done there is one window pop up that the optimization is under processing and gene uh, smart code on optimization will send you an email so you have to register here with your email and when it will be done then you will get the email and also you can check from here also as well the same way and you will you will see here your status is under processing so it's under processing so this is a before i de i did this this kind of uh, codon optimization so uh, what kind of result you will get i'll show you that so if you you will get the job id so when it will be done then you have to click this one and you will get this kind of optimization result summary and here you will get the the result the average gc content that is a 71% gene name and if you if you hit the details then you will get this kind of result that is the your optimized sequence so optimized sequence this one you can copy from here and you can directly paste it or as well as also you can uh, click this one and you, you can save it in the pdf form so by this way you can do very easily the codon optimization so i hope this video will be helpful if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel Thanks guys.